Hello guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can convert our JSON to the POJO classes. Here we are creating the bean classes based on the JSONs. Okay. So I'm going to show you one online tool which helps us to convert them very easily. So let's say like uh, we are working in a usually in a you know uh, Java backend side when you are working for every POJO class uh, uh, for every you know JSON object we are creating a POJO classes right. Let's say like this is a JSON object for this one I have to create one POJO class and uh, then that POJO class I have to use it uh, in other class including these two elements. So uh, if you know you are uh, as the JSON is getting increased in size or increasing in complexity then it will become more difficult. So use this tool which is an online tool to convert it and which is very very straightforward as well. Simply go to your uh, you know Google and type JSON to C sharp here uh, it will have so many options json to java converter is one of them guys so simply click on this option and here if you see you have a input json here you have a java this particular web page i'm going to put it in a you know description as well as a comment section and if you see there were multiple ways of converting here you have a option to convert json to c sharp json to java all those things so just simply put your input json here and option to convert it it will directly gets converted this will have a one class with variable as message and status as message another another status and post office okay here since the type is not identified properly given the object so you simply need to copy this one and keep it uh, uh, into your uh, let's say like my notepad here and uh, since I am talking about some post office details then simply I will rename it to post office post office details ok and uh, the class name should be public and the inside variable should be private so simply uh, change everything here like this ok uh, so this would really help you to reduce lots of time guys let's say like I have little bit complicated JSON here like this copy this one and paste it here okay so what happens is like you have two classes one for the post office another one for these two along with the post office right so click on the convert option and uh, you have if you see here post office where for each json there is a one class like this okay and the the bigger one with message and status and this is a list right this is a json list because of this bracket uh, index bracket this is a list so i'm using a list here and we could able to generate it directly it is a very very time saving approach at the same time very efficient approach guys because each and every time you know you're seeing the json and uh, creating our own uh, java pojo classes will take little bit of time so i hope you guys to give it a try here you have an option to download you have an option to click to you know clipboard so it will automatically get copied so all these things will be really useful so hope this useful for you guys thank you so much